now we are going to create a hypervisor connection hosting connection and this um, delivery controller server so first we need to take rdp delivery controller so eops Login into the server. This is showing the um, public IP for our storefront or DC server. We uh, we have installed storefront and DC same server. So now yes, yeah, storefront. Studio Scout, all when even database is all in the same server. So here is the Citrix components which installed in the license server. Okay. So closing this. Uh, let us be connected till between we can see our environment this is our mcs master image server net scaler net scaler 2 this one is ready and here we install the citrix infra servers and uh, to connect with the azure hypervisor user should be accessed on the active directory or uh, with the ARMS means it could be a, a user should have been a contributor with the ad, uh, active directory access or as a owner of the uh, as a account so uh, ARM access and ADA access is required to connect with the Azure hypervisor now the citrix studio is open now click on hosting go to the add connection in the add connection click on microsoft azure next you have to put the subscription id as well as the connection name so citrix MCS now putting subscription ID creating new connection after uh, clicking on the create new connection it will ask me the user ID and password for your Azure it's a Microsoft ID and the password. Signing in. Now signing in and it's starting to create the connection. So connection name next. Now I have to select the reason is the East US because I am uh, creating this in the East US. East US reason. The reason is East US and next the resource name is the MCA. 